All right, we're looking at a 2010 Dodge Journey SXT 3.5 liter V6. Probably timing belt and the water pump down there. This uh, looks like a pretty similar setup to the other 3.5 that Dodge had in some of their other vehicles facing forward. So, first thing we're going to do probably is uh, get underneath the vehicle. And take the wheel off, get underneath the vehicle so we can get to the tensioner, which is down below the alternator. We'll get a wrench on that and loosen this belt up and get it off. So here we are, we have the wheel off, five 19 millimeter bolts. Probably break them loose before you jack it up and jack it up and take the wheel off, just gives you more access. Uh, this piece has already been missing, apparently. Looks like some clips you can probably take off with the pliers and some screwdrivers. It's kind of out of the way. Lucky for me. Uh, 18 or 19 millimeter bolt there. So there's the tensioner. Just got to put a wrench on it and uh, push up on it. And you can see the belt there loosening up. So we're just going to do that and take the belt off. Okay, you can see that I have the belt removed. I'm just going to go ahead because I'm here. Take that off. I think it was 18 millimeter. This is a Chrysler or Dodge, so we're going to need our special Dodge puller. Some people have been modifying their pullers, which is fine, but we do have the right tool, and you do need a puller for this. It will not wiggle off, so get our Dodge puller and uh, pull this off. So we are going to need to loosen the motor mounts and loosen this and support the engine. Then we can drop it down when we take this... Uh, vibration dampener off so that's what you need to do and looks probably a couple 18 millimeter bolts here and maybe you do them in the back too watch out for that you can see we got the belt off when we remove these 13 millimeter bolts for this I'm hoping we can kind of lay it up to the side a little bit I'm gonna take this off 13 millimeter bolt right there sometimes I like to take stuff off as I go but my real focus is actually getting into this engine mount so I can drop it down it's like maybe three 15 millimeter bolts there a couple 10 millimeter bolts so there's my goal so let's go ahead and do that and uh, also on attach that uh, ground strap down there as well so that's what you can do next. You can see the coolant jug does lay nicely out of the way. We need to wear three 16 millimeter bolts and two 10 millimeter bolts. Start there, remove the ground strap and see if we can get this out. I do have the engine supported with a jack because I do not know how far it's going to fall down actually still attached we can lay it off to the side so there we go we can let the engine go down a little bit we might have enough room for our crankshaft pulley and uh, anytime you want then you just dig in here and start reaching in there with your 10 millimeter wrench start taking bolts off the covers again take this off and you got some 10 and maybe 13 millimeter bolts as well over here So here we do our, have our Chrysler puller. Seems to me this has been a puller for Chrysler for 
you know, since maybe 92, 93, 94, somewhere in there. So this is a 2010, so they're still using it. But I'd have to take out these pins and insert the arms first. And then I got everything put back together. So it's going to turn this and it's going to pull off. That's how it works. Easy. That's how that works. It's off, just to press fit. So we got the three 10 millimeter bolts off while we're here. 15 millimeter nut here. Just use a setup here, swivel. You probably get it with a wrench. It was kind of tight though, so I used my impact gun on it. But it's coming off like like that. So seems to be a funky bolt behind here. Maybe we can cheat, take our 15 millimeter wrench, lift that up, and get the bolt out from behind there. You may not have to mess with that tensioner there. I don't think that taking that uh, pulley off is going to help, but we can uh, lift it up and expose that bolt. kind of dark but there's a uh, torx bit back there so this is a t40 torx bit that's what I'll be using right here to uh, break the bolt loose behind the tensioner belt tensioner just so you know t40 so here's a look up above and it looks like you can get to most everything with just a regular 10 millimeter or 13 millimeter flat wrench uh, it does look like maybe on the front though the power string pump might have to come out because there might be a bolt or two behind the power string pulley so Actually in order of events it might be one of the first things or farther up in the events and I've done it I Try to do what I can to avoid taking things off like that, but sometimes you can't help it. So I'm going to take off all these 10 millimeter bolts I can and uh, 13 millimeter bolts and then worry about the power steering after